What's going on, Faded Culture? I'm Major Barone. We got Ben here on the chair. Today, I'll be breaking down the steps on how to achieve a pompadour low fade. Be sure to stick around to the end because I do got a few blow drying tips that are going to help you all achieve this look. With that said, let's get to it. I hope you all enjoy. All right, guys, to start off this haircut, I am going to wet it all and comb it thoroughly just because it is kind of nappy, as you can see. And as far as the cowlick, you wanna make sure you comb in the direction that it naturally lays. Now to start our scissor work, I'm gonna start at the front and work my way back, as I am gonna leave the front a lot longer because of that pompadour style. And as we come back, I'm gonna be gradually cutting more. As you can see right here, I'm picking up the middle section of the hair now, picking up what I previously cut as a guideline and move that along to the side. For most of my scissor work, I do work in those three sections, which is the left side, the middle, and then the right side. And I always come back and cross check my work. And what I'm doing right here is I'm grabbing some of this hair and pulling out with my fingers. What this is gonna do, it's gonna help me transition the long hair to the short hair on the sides. And I basically do this all around the head. All right, that's it for our scissor work. Now we're gonna start our low fade. I'm gonna start my initial guideline with these trimmers right above the ear. Dropping it as I come to the back and right here I stop at the middle of the back and then I start it on the other side and once I get towards the back, just connect them. That way I know I'm kind of symmetrical on both ends. All right, now to put in our second guideline, I'm gonna use the clipper with the lever all the way open and take that up about half an inch or so consistently around the head. make sure you are flicking out and not digging in these guidelines guys it's going to help you erase them when we come back to them a lot lot better now my third guideline is going to be the number one guard leaving the lever in the exact same place which is fully open and taking that up about the same amount about half half an inch or so All right, for our next guideline, lever in the exact same place. Now I'm gonna slap on that number two and do the same process. Again, as you can see, I'm not digging in that clipper. Now for my last guard, this is the number three guard, lever in the exact same place. And as you can see, that two is blending right into that three because of the fact that I didn't dig it in. My guidelines are very soft and very easy to take out. That pretty much blended all the way to the top, but to tighten things up and make things look a little bit neater, I'm gonna remove some of that bulk all along the edge using my thinning shears. If you haven't tried this technique, I highly suggest it as it does make things look a lot neater and a lot nicer. All right, we're pretty much done setting up the canvas, cleaning up the whole head. Now to set the fade in there. I got my first guideline with a sub zero, second with the half, and the third with that one guard level open. Everything else just kind of blended in, like I said. Now we're gonna start the fading down process. We're gonna start with that line on top with my one and a half guard, and the lever is gonna be three fourths open. It's basically open it up all the way and just close it one notch. And I'm gonna start flicking out at that guideline that we created with our one guard lever open. All 
All right, now with our half guard leaving the lever in the exact position, we're gonna attack the second line coming down. All right, now to clean up that soft line that that created, I'm gonna put on the one guard, leaving the lever in the exact same place and flick at those dark spots. All right, we're pretty much done with that. Now to remove the first line that we made with the trimmer, I'm gonna use my clipper lever closed fully and then open it halfway, then open it to that three quarters, then open it all the way. Again, it's closed halfway, three quarters, and then open. And here I'm gonna work in sections, starting with this left section of the head, just taking up the clipper in small bits this time. So right here, my clipper closed all the way, take it up just a bit, then I open it halfway, taking it up just another bit. And once I'm done with this, I'm gonna put it into that three quarters. With these tighter areas, I suggest using just the corners of the clipper as it is gonna help you stay tighter with your fade and not take it up so high. right here I opened it up all the way and just finished cleaning up but as you can see the fade is pretty much done just repeat that same process that four step process in the back section and then the right section and you're pretty much done and off to shave Just take your time with this final step more than anything because it could get a little frustrating especially when clients have really coarse hair but just take your time and trust the process and the fade will lay out. All these steps will be in the description below in case you want to screenshot them and follow along that way as well. And right here we're pretty much done with the fade. Now what I like to do, I like to come back and pick at any dark spots like you can see right here. I slap on my half guard with the lever all the way open 
and all this is going to be trigger play and this is going to vary from client to client because some have dips lumps scars whatever the case might be but i always come back and clean up my work with either my half guard or my one and a half guard those usually always tend to do the job All right, now to start the uh, last step, which is gonna prepare for the shaving, I usually get my trimmers and flip them around. And this is gonna help me kind of help that transition. As you can see, it is lighter up on top. So when I come back and clean up this bottom hair, I can flick out as I get to the top. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna leave a faint line. And that's gonna kind of just indicate up to where I take up that shaver. As you can see, I'm shaving to the top and once I get to that guideline, I'm using the shaver as if it was a clipper and using just the corners of it and flick out. Now taking his beard down with a number two and his mustache with a one and a half because the mustache is a lot darker, it's a lot thicker. So it still looks pretty even, even though it's half a size smaller. And to blend in that beard, I'm just gonna use the reverse fading process, which is uh, I use my number one guard lever open and then close it. And then I use my clipper by itself, lever open, close it halfway and then close it all the way. Now to define the temple peak area, adding that C cup or C curve, I don't know what y'all guys call it. And to edge them up, I, I do wet it and clip it back. That way I make sure not to cut any of that long hair and just start at the middle and work your way to the sides. adding some shave gel so he doesn't get irritated and begin the shaving. Always shaving with the grain first. Make sure you learn your dipping strokes to ensure a better shave. And when we get to the mustache, always tell your client to kind of bite or pull his lip in to help you stretch it. As for the neckline, just like the edge up, I always start in the middle and work your way to the sides just to make sure you're even on both ends. I always shave my client's neckline with the electric razor opposed to the straight razor as it does get a little bit closer because with the straight razor I never shave against the grain on the neckline because they are prone to ingrowns. Alright for the pre-style I damp the whole head with water and I'm going to explain the blow dryer. You got your cool, medium and hot and this right here is going to be your cool shot. We are going to start with the high heat to open up that cuticle making the hair more malleable and brushing it in the way we want it to lay already. Basically, we're already styling the hair. And when it comes to the front to achieve that pompadour look, we need a lot of volume. So what you're gonna do is round the brush in this direction right here and hold it for a second or two. And that's gonna give you the most volume towards that front, really help fluff up that front. And what you're gonna do when the hair is pretty much all dry and set, you're gonna hit it with the cool shot to close that cuticle and basically lock in that hold. 
Now to add the product of your desire, here I'm just gonna use a matte pomade and run it through the surface of the hair. And then using my brush to just kind of define everything a bit better. Here I'm just gonna use my wireless compressor with a little bit of semi-permanent hair dye just to enhance the edges, make everything look better. The link to this is in the description below if y'all wanna check it out. This is the before and boom, this is my boy Ben after. What do y'all think about this transformation guys? Leave a comment down below. And more than anything, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification. With that said, thank y'all for tuning in. Hope to see y'all next time and peace.